All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I was doing some uh, some shopping here on the Groundbreaker, and then I realized we haven't talked to uh, Lilia Hagen since we went to Byzantium, like at all. So we should probably go talk to her. Oh yeah, and I got to new armor for Ellie. Is it done? Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species? Or are we finished here? Uh, you misunderstood the research. You're crazy. <laughs> uh. You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Well, they weren't dead. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. Yeah, I feel you. You think maybe she's got an itchy trigger finger? I don't want to find out. I hope not. But, you know, it's okay. I wish there was an op option to just lie to her. There was no op option to lie to her. Like, why not? Like, for all intents and purposes, she's run off with... Where's the... Oh, there it is. She's run off with, um... We expect you out here again. Phineas Wells or is helping him in some way so like for all, who cares she's technically off the grid dead but it's okay we're gonna we're gonna go uh start peril of Gorgon on Gorgon now which apparently is pretty long it's pretty long like six hours I think Alright, over to Gorga. Is that like a, an asteroid or a proto planet? Oh, let's ask the crew what they think. About. The hell was that? I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. I know. It's a shame about what happened to that lucky fella. Maybe finishing what he started will help put his spirit to rest. Here's hoping. Uh, you poked un around the unreliable, ever find anything, any record of him? Not a word. And I've been sticking my nose in every one of our stately ladies' crannies, stem to stern. Oh, law. That sounds untoward, don't it? <laughs> uh, that ain't, uh, that ain't what I meant. Point is, Captain, Mr. Hawthorne left all kinds of scribblings behind panels and under consoles, but ain't a lick of it mentioned Mr. Lucky. Really? So whatever they got up to in the past must have been really extra secret. And lots of fun. Okay, let me know if you find anything. Sure thing, Captain. It sure is lonely out here, on the edge of the colony. Anything could happen. And ain't no one gonna come to help us. Alright. Uh, Alrighty. You change your mind, you just holler. Alright. You know, whoever wired this ship up had no idea what they were doing. <laughs> is that bad? Alright, we're gonna ask everybody else. I don't know why I didn't just go through the regular stairs. Hey, Cap. Sure. Right now, I'm feeling like a canid following a trail of treats. Like I'm being misled at best. At worst, walking into a trap. Keep those eyes open, Captain. All right, thank you. Hey, Cap. Felix? 
Good to see you, boss. What do you think about the job, buddy? So we just sat around a table talking about a severed arm. Of all the weird things that happened on this ship, that ranks somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I mean, I guess. You ever watch The Masked Marketeer? No. Sounds familiar. Felix, you can't answer my question with another question. Boss, I'm going somewhere with this. Episode 5 of The Masked Marketeer. First appearance of a recurring villain. Big ol' galoot, built like one of those industrial class garbage compressors. His name? Tiny. Of course. Every adventure serial's gotta have a supporting character with an ironical name. It's a rule of the Genry. Mass Marketeer Genre? had a massive bruiser named Tiny, and we got ourselves a real unfortunate hullhead named Lucky. Coincidence? I think not. This is not like a TV show, dude. You seem pretty excited. I don't know how to tell you this, but we're not in an adventure serial genre Felix is for now. Yeah, that shit's actually really bothering me. Genre, right. Thanks. I read that word in a poster once. Never actually used it in a conversation. Anyway, where were we? We're freelancers. We take any job we can get. But this one? The dying message of a stranger. A severed hand delivered in a crate. Let's just say it beats flying around the colony running errands. So, of course, I'm going to be excited. Okay. Got to hand it to you. You've got heart. Just try to stay focused. It's an interesting lead. We'll see where it goes. Hey, I get it. Got to hand it to me. Severed hand. Stop. <laughs> That's what you were going for, right? <laughs> that wasn't what you were going for. Yep, I can tell by the way you're glaring at me. Holy shit. No, it wasn't. <laughs> That was what beautiful, though. What a mess. Oh my god. Hold still. Something on your mind? If there's one thing you could say about Lucky Montoya, he was always at the center of a story. I guess this is fitting. You knew him? Sure. Like Ada said, he was a big name among freelancers. I met him at Lost Hope once. He was buying rounds for everyone and telling a story about one of his jobs. Pretty sure half of it was made up. Okay, why did you say that? But the drinks were still free. That's all I wanted to know. You ever get the feeling someone's just trying too hard? Yes. There was just something about Montoya I couldn't quite trust. He was always at the center of a room and he slapped a lot of backs to stay there. You think it was all talk? Yeah. I'm trying to say that if he screwed this job up, that's on him. I still like our odds. Okay. He may have had a rep, but you're more capable than he ever was. Sounds good to me. That's a nice thing to say. Yeah, it sounded like an actual compliment. Hey, don't get used to it. What's on your mind? From his arm? The decay makes it hard to tell. It could be a lot of things. Torn off by something with big teeth, torn off by something with big claws, torn off by someone with a moderately sharp blade. Or maybe he just got too close to heavy machinery. Okay. Sure. Something on your mind? Nope, that's that's it. I'll see you. Only one left really is uh Vicar Max, who's always back here reading. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? Are you talking about Gorgon, or...? Yes, of course. And when you do, you can count on me to back your play. Thanks. Your ability to talk us out of even the most hopeless situations hasn't failed us so far. Anything you'd like to discuss? Uh, yeah. Perhaps it's just my judicious nature, but I think we should be careful if we're following up on this lucky fellow's message. Uh, why do you say that? I've always felt caution as the best approach when one has delivered a message attached to a severed limb. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> 
noted, but what do you think uh, about what he was saying? Think it's a setup? He sounded lost, perhaps slightly untethered from reality. A feeling I know all too well. It doesn't strike me as a setup, but I still advise caution. Yeah, there's always the possibility it wasn't even his hand. Uh, but... So you think uh, we should look into it? If it's a setup, whoever's behind it will regret it. I couldn't have said it better myself. Alright, well I'll see you later, Vicar. Time to disembark. On Gorgon, it's always Adrena time. What the fuck does that mean? Is this like a mine where they mine the chemical or something? Whoa. Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Don't worry, little fella. We're mostly law-abiding folk. I don't think I can follow you that way there, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We should check this... Can I can I pick it up? Um, you know, right there, buddy. <laughs> it just fell the fuck over. Groundskeeper. Kitchen key card. This is kind of creepy. I'm already creeped out. And I don't much like it. This, this, this unit expresses dismay. I, I can't pick you up. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is entirely new territory because this is that brand new DLC. That came out like a couple of Those months big ago, empty maybe. Windows. It feels like the building's watching me. Oh, law! I'm getting goosebumps. I don't like it. At the like very it. least, there ought to be something worth stealing in there. An empty foyer. The place looks run down. Mostly okay, about maybe not. Oh, it's so empty. Oh, Captain, something here don't feel right. I don't like it either, Pravati. This is strange. All right, I guess we should head upstairs. Room. Okay, can I go in this door? Nope, can't go in any of these doors. Can go in this one. And this one is broken. No, this is a bedroom. What the hell is going on? I do not like it. Can't get through there. if I do so who the devil are you you don't say well make yourself at home captain I'm sure we have much to discuss do you see that glowing chunk of space rock 
That's Gorgon. My birthright, my burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass to Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose, but you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Now, what brings you to my house, gorgeous? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. No, I got an arm in the mail. A severed arm? How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Does the name Lucky Montoya mean anything to you? Really? Huh. Now this severed limb, did it have dark hair? Rugged knuckles? Chewed fingernails? A gunslinger's calluses? Sounds about right. Aha! Mystery solved. I can only think of one man daring enough to jettison his extremities on my behalf. Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. He's definitely not doing that anymore. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? Sorry for you lost. Uh, what's his arm doing on my ship? Any idea what might have, who might have wanted him killed? You suspect foul play. Interesting. If we're being honest, I haven't given it much thought. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand and I really can't afford another setback. That's called a defense mechanism. I don't get attached to others if I can avoid it. Try it sometime. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well suited to the job. Remember, play hard to get. That's negotiation. <laughs> you offer work to everyone who breaks into your home? Must be some kind of Byzantine tradition I ain't know about. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. Well, you're just a flatterer, aren't you? Uh, how likely am I to wind up as you, like your old freelancer? I like my employees well-groomed. Appearances are everything in high society. Okay. runway model I'm looking for both remember I'm rich enough that I can afford to be choosy and I choose you dear captain allow me to lay out the facts and you can decide for yourself if you want to be my chief investigator my mother dr. Olivia Ambrose worked for spacers choice at the Gorgon research facility she was brilliant the top scientist in her field until tragedy struck Go on, I'm not surprised by the choice is one of the is one big accident waiting to happen. I wish I could say otherwise. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. It must have been real hard on you, losing your mother all of a sudden like that. I'm sorry to hear it, ma'am. Thank you. Ambrose ladies are supposed to be resilient to the unexpected, but this was especially hard on me. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. Okay, so stick to the basics. What do you need from me? Why would they lie? Sounds like corporate pat. Uh, sound like she was the corporation's patsy. 
My thoughts exactly. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. Uh, what did you send Lucky find? Tell me about your mother. What do you think happened on Gorgon? I admired Mother, but we weren't close. She disapproved of everything about me, really. I couldn't measure up to her example. She didn't make time for us. I remember thinking that she never wanted a child, and never forgave me for being one, naive and irresponsible as I was. Well, that sucks. Sound familiar, Ellie? Trust me, we are nothing alike. A kindred spirit. Well, well, charmed. Today is full of surprises. Mother worked herself to the bone. She wanted to make the colony a better place. No matter who or what got sacrificed along the way. She never spared a thought for those of us who cherished her. Who suffered for her idea of progress. Did you two ever get along? So Gorgon pulled you apart. Sounds like she was pretty consumed with the work. We got close once. When I was a child, I enjoyed looking over Mother's shoulder playing backseat chemist while she peered into a microscope. One day, she told me to leave before I broke something. Then, I got mad and broke something. Typical night in the Ambrose house. Oh, that hurts my heart to hear, ma'am. My dad was real dedicated to his work, too, but he always let me help. Made me feel, I don't know, special. Like I had something to offer. I wish you could have had that with your mother. Mother and Gorgon were made for each other. I had the misfortune to be stuck in the middle. That's terrible. I don't know. And Spacer's Choice won't say. They don't discuss anything that tarnishes their brand. Gorgon has a dark history. The project fell apart. Personnel were shuffled across the system. With Mother gone, now I'm all that's left. There must be somebody who knows something. Where's your father? Father lost more than his job on Gorgon. I'll say no more than that. The asteroid may look like a glittering jewel, but I assure you the resemblance ends there. Gorgon is poisonous to the core. One might even say cursed. I need your help, Captain. Project Gorgon killed Mother and disgraced the Ambrose name, and no one has been held accountable. Spacer's Choice buried the past like a dirty secret. We're practically strangers. Why put your trust in me? You've lost one gunslinger already. When does you think I'll do any better? Are you interested in justice, revenge, or both? Probably both. You followed an uncertain lead all the way to my doorstep. You're curious, resourceful, and perceptive. All the marks of a good private eye. Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. First, I have some questions, if it helps. Uh, you get some closure, I'll do it. Uh, danger in the corporate entry, my kind of job. Qu questions first. I'm not surprised. Between the family drama and the corporate conspiracy, it must feel like you've stepped on a landmine. Speak freely, Captain. I suspect it will prove that corporate greed and incompetence were to blame for the calamity at Gorgon, and not Mother. Mother was a brilliant woman. Difficult, cold, unreachable even, but brilliant. Then my family's disgrace, our curse, will be absolute. This is my last hope of redeeming the Ambrose name. I don't like my chances, but I have to try. And I need help. Your help. Uh, why did you wait before... Starting the investigation? How did the investigation get Lucky killed? 
I didn't want to go anywhere near Gorgon. Once I exhausted all my options, the search led me back here. I even had Mother declared legally dead. Would you believe it took five years to process the paperwork? Wow. They never found her body, did they? Well, that's... It isn't as bad as you make it sound, but technically, yes. Mother's body is still on Gorgon. No body means no death certificate, which means no inheritance. I killed Mother, just on paper, of course, so I could claim my inheritance. We wouldn't be standing here if I didn't have access to the family fortune. Damn, wish I'd thought of that. Ah! I once assumed the mansion and the money would be enough to redeem the Ambrose name. But even in Byzantium, prestige must be earned. And it can so easily be lost. You know, some people work hard just to break out. Break back into high society, yes. Thought you were trying to vindicate your mother. I'm trying to do several things at once. None of them easy. The sneer campaign against mother was the work of cowards. I'm vindicating the family name for her, for the colony, and for my future. At the very least, I can guarantee that we learn from our mistakes. A failure on the scale of Project Gorgon should never be allowed to happen. This colony is in trouble. The lunatics at Spacer's Choice are running the asylum, and we need better people to wield their influence. After Gorgon, I quickly discovered that the Ambrose name was... cursed, for lack of a better term. I had no place among the decision makers. No seat at the table. That's Byzantium for you. Gossip mongering's a bigger sport than toss ball. That is why I'm clearing the record and vindicating the Ambrose line. For Mother, for me, and for the generations who will one day inherit Halcyon. Say no more, point me towards the journal and I'll be off. What's your, uh, what do you propose could be the danger? I'm counting on it. Oh, uh... You know as much as I do, I'm afraid. Spacer's Choice abandoned Gorgon, but the asteroid is far from unoccupied. Between the marauders, the wildlife, and whatever escaped the labs, danger abounds. Okay, marauders, I hate marauders. What kind of wildlife? Your guess is as good as mine. I know that Spacer's Choice bred canids, especially for Gorgon. They were supposed to act as living cattle prods. By now, they've probably gone feral. Just watch yourself. If you aren't careful, you stand to lose more than an arm. I believe that covers it all. Are you ready to get started? We mustn't allow the trail to get cold. If it helps you get some closure, I'll find the journal. My kind of job. I admire your enthusiasm. This manner has echoed with my own we, and I can feel you breathing new life into the walls. When you reach Gorgon, Pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. I'll be careful. What can I expect to face on Gorgon? I told him everything I've told you. Just the facts. Maybe a couple of harmless embellishments. Why? I'm trying to uh, calculate the odds of <laughs> this gig will get me killed. It's sure to be 100% with that attitude. Still, you're smart to ask. Lucky spent most of our time together spinning a pistol around his index finger. Not sure you listen to any of my advice. That sounds like Lucky, all right. The man loved to show off. He had an aura of rugged individualism that was quite charming. Not that it helped him in the end. But you won't let me down, will you, Captain? I don't intend to. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad, the Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room, so if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. I think I've heard of that place. Cheap whiskey, rough crowd. You'll love it. Oh, you think maybe they got a little mascot? Like a Sprat and a tiny hat? <laughs> Just so we understand each other, 
Money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, you'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? Sounds great to me. The cash? No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Believe me, that's enough. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. Thanks, gorgeous. All right, I'll be in touch. Spacer's choice should be the one apologizing, but... Thank you. Sincerely. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Mysterious errors, unexpected gainful employment. It's like something out of a detective serial. It's not theft if she's giving us permission. It's really not. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. All right, we'll be going down to Gorgon. I wonder what this little asteroid is called then. Because I just went to Gorgon. Maybe it's in Gorgon's atmosphere? Oh my god, it's still down here! Query, are you, are, are you upside down? I'm s- I re I really wish I could help you. Oh my god. We really gotta get somebody to clean the ship. Okay. Well, this is mysterious, intriguing, and probably deadly as all hell, but I think I'm over leveled for it, so we're good. Remember that you are not as as before. Oh, it's like an orbiting asteroid. That's that's awesome. I don't know what kind of mess Spacer's Choice made here, but it figures they'd leave it to someone else to clean up. Don't these corporations always? So we're heading this way. This place is extremely run down. And again, it's been abandoned for God knows how long. Supplies to be here. No one lasts long on Gorgon unprepared. Hello. You looking for supplies, stranger? Best stock up here. If you run low on bullets out in Gorgon's far reaches, there ain't no one around here liable to help you out. Let me know if you're looking for something particular. You mean you came out to this asteroid without knowing nothing about it? <laughs> me too. Heard it was wild here and couldn't resist. Trouble is, if you wander off to somewhere you oughtn't be, like way out in Gorgon's farthest reaches, odds are slimmer of your bits finding their way to my pockets. If you want my advice, stick close to the Sprat Shack. Unless you fancy having your limbs torn off and eaten. Give him your best unimpressed look. You okay? Does your stomach hurt or something? Look, I ain't stopping you from wandering elsewhere. But if you do, be sure you watch out for the marauders. That's the number one thing. And the mance, I guess. Of course. You watch out for marauders, mance, and Charles from accounting, and you'll probably be fine. Who the fuck is Charles? Only the meanest marauder on Gorgon, and also anywhere else. That man is crazier than a bag of canids and twice as likely to bite. He will bust your head open like an overripe mock apple if he so much as sees you. I ain't joking. He'll snap you in half like stale bread noodles. Thanks for the warning. You're making me hungry. Sorry. Been a minute since I last ate. Charles from accounting is like 
Imagine if you took three of the most howling mad marauders you could find and mashed them together. That's Charles. You mean he's got uh, the strength of three men? Zero times three is still zero. Pretty sure I've done I've done that before. I don't think you can really quantify folks' strength in that manner, Captain. You ain't listening to me, huh? Well, I warned you. If you run off and get exploded to death by a madman with a rocket launcher now, that's on you. You didn't mention he had a rocket launcher. Sure, okay. He's got a rocket launcher. A lot of good that does me know now. Uh, he any good with it? How'd he get the rocket launcher? I don't know. Hard to guess how many he's killed, given the explosions tend to obliterate any bodies. <laughs> I'm joking. No one bothers looking for bodies. I'm starting to wonder if there ain't a person on this rock entirely out of their minds. <laughs> Look, long story short, you do not fuck with Chuck. Best to avoid the Marauder camp entirely. That's my two bits on the matter. All right. Found a pickaxe in the mine like none I've ever seen before. Could be awful useful if you're the violent type. I am, but... We'll see. Oh, it's a legendary pickaxe. Pocket watch. Is this... Does this do anything? I, I guess I'll take it. Nah, I don't need any ammo. I was stocked up on ammo. So I guess, is this the way to the... Yeah. So who do I need to talk to? Come here. Let's have a chat. Why? All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. Did I stutter? Just do as I say. Blink rapidly. Good. Look up. Now look down. You wouldn't say that if you were in my shoes. Now are you gonna cooperate? Look up, then look down. You're doing swell. Now, name and occupation. Ne'er do well. <laughs> Good enough for me. You're cleared to pass. What the hell was that, that all was about? That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. So in other words, there would be no point in the test, because I'd be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. All right, you dick. <laughs> Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back. They aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. First they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves, on account of how they soiled themselves. <laughs> After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. Where exactly am I? Just don't ask me to dance. Yeah, why would I do that? This is a sublight bar. Oh. So most of our regulars come to plunder the old labs. The facility's locked up behind miles of red tape. So progress is slow. A lot of time to drink and reevaluate. 
then venture out and try again. Hey, your boss just fired me. Something bad happened here. Spacer's choice was developing chemicals. The kind with nasty side effects. Marauders outnumber the rest of us ten to one. Either they came from Gorgon, or something draws them here. I don't know which is worse. This place is under a dark cloud, stranger. That's all I know. If you want the history of the Sprat Shack, talk to Lex behind the bar. Okay. Bouncer, bodyguard, law enforcer. I make sure the Sprat Shack gets only the highest caliber of clientele. That's us. <laughs> and I thought this place was gonna be fun. We get a lot of brand-loyal corporate types, and a lot of cutthroat freelancer types. Both sides have their share of dirty scoundrels. And I hate dirt. All right, well, see you around. If you're heading downstairs, order something sweet. Smell that? Cheap whiskey and stale cigarettes. My kind of place. Oh, ugh. This place smells like Felix's birth. Oof. Hello. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. Will it be? I want to see colors, a lot of them. Bottoms up. I assume you're here for salvage. Can't help you there. This ain't exactly a library. Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle, but that's life. You're the first new face I've seen in a while. You know anybody named Lucky Montoya? Lucky? Sure, I knew him. He could get a little dramatic at times, but he was a good guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the Office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. That's where the top rungers at Spacer's Choice came up with slogans of marketing. Lucky never told me why it was so important. <sighs> Awful shame about what happened to him. Forget the story, uh, was, where was Lucky staying? You really want to hear my story? <laughs> Lol, most everyone around here is sick to death of it by now. <laughs> Last I saw of Lucky was a few days ago. I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. So I kicked the canid, scared it off. I'm an animal lover myself, but canids have temperament issues you just can't breed out. Get this. The canid was chewing on an honest-to-law human arm. Lucky's arm. Right. I'm a bartender. Attention to detail is my middle name. Anyway, the arm was clutching a phonograph that mentioned someone named Alex Hawthorne. I did some poking around, and this Hawthorne has a reputation among the uh, <clears throat> salvagers who frequent the bar. So I packaged up the arm nice and tidy and sent it care of the Halcyon Parcel Service. They even gave me a discount on the hazardous waste removal stamp. Uh, the arm made it to me. I'm Hawthorne's next of kin, sort of. <laughs> no kidding. And now you're here? Colony feels smaller than you'd think some days. I'm glad I was here to see this, uh, confluence of events, you know? The stars really aligned on this one. And here I am, smack dab in the middle. Yeah. Uh, why bother sending the arm at all? I figured Hawthorne would want to know what happened to his pal. Help Lucky get his affairs in order, you know. Oh, I hate to see people go with unfinished business. Third floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just wash your hands when you're done. Trust me. Oh dear lord. Okay. Yes and no. 
The Sprat Shack used to be a shipping and receiving warehouse during the old Project Gorgon days. When Spacer's Choice pulled their guys off world, Sublight moved in to uh, salvage what we could, and they put me in charge. Okay. Yes and no. Ha! Rumor has it there's a Sprat wandering around the Groundbreaker, and he's the legal owner of the Sprat Shack. Hagen's idea. Lovely. Uh, dare I ask why the Sprat owns the bar? See, Hagen didn't want a paper trail that led back to her, so she gave the bar to the Sprat. If there were any legal problems with this place, the Sprat would do the time. You know, they do something similar in Byzantium. Fancier system, but same idea. You think a Sprat could own Edgewater? Oh, oh, imagine when wearing Mr. Thompson's little hat. Oh my anyway, God. Anyway, that's what the paperwork says. That's precious. I don't make the rules. Easy. His name's Matt. Matt the beautiful the thing is, no one could tell Matt Sprat apart from an ordinary vermin. I think that's kind of the point, to send the authorities on a wild Sprat chase. Uh, I'm guessing I'll try to, uh, hmm, try not to step on him. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. The Sprat Shack's gone through a lot of title holders over the years. As far as business arrangements go, this one's a head-scratcher, but they say it's all above board, so that's what matters. Okay. Yes and no. We're doing a lot more than squatting. We're classing up the joint, keeping the riffraff outside where it belongs. They didn't even serve drinks until I arrived. Talk about wasted potential. Right. Yes and no. Again, that one was Hagen's idea. She told me that speaking in vague terms keeps you out of trouble. And I don't want any trouble in my place. Okay, um... Good, I've got paying customers. We'll talk to her later, what's in here? Kitchen. What's in the vending machine? Hmm. Okay, so space is choice. Then. Thought we might get some new armor out of this place. You're a humbug, Trixie. And worse, a thief. I can't steal what's lawfully mine, you tangle footed dimwit. Bring it up, you two. I've heard more than enough of your shit for one day. Third floor, she says. I wouldn't get too close to that railing. Just in case. Do you, uh, think the folks here like strangers? Rome would have loved this place. Hello. You don't look like one of the salvagers, no? Don't really seem like the type. You've got the look of someone who's traveled far to get here and whose journey is far from over. That's the truth. Confidence. The scavengers around here, they're faking it. You're the real deal. I don't know if you're bound for the old runes, but in case you are, can you look into something? I'd do it myself, but of course, the marauders would eat me alive. What do you need? Um, looking for something out there. Been paying Sublate to help me, but they haven't made much progress. This something must be valuable. It is to me, but apparently it's junk to sublight. What is it? My husband and I worked on Gorgon during the good times. Jerome was on maintenance duty. I cleaned out test tubes till they sparkled. Okay, so what are we looking for as corpse? No, we're good. That's for sure. In his final hours, Gorgon was a war zone. Violence broke out in the labs. The hills were full of marauders. You couldn't take a leisurely stroll without an armed escort. The hell happened? When the order came through to evacuate, non-essential personnel drew a lottery to see who would board the first wave of ships. Jerome won. I lost. As soon as I wasn't looking, Jerome switched our tickets and pushed me to the front of the line. I got to leave. Jerome stayed behind. I never saw him again. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Jerome. 
Always chose the right thing, even when it got him killed. This place is greedy. Took my Jerome, and it would have taken me too. I just want one thing back. His old hip flask. I gave it to him the day we signed our marriage contract, and he carried it wherever he went. I know it's still here. What do you think happened to him? I could keep an eye out for that flask. You'd really do that for me? Law, and I'll bet you're worth ten of those sublights, brats. Oh, yeah. I don't have much, but if you help me, there's a little set aside for the occasion. Jerome used to drink with his buddies in a small kitchen opposite the maintenance shed. Might be a good place to check first. All right, we'll see you. Nope, that's stealing. And there's two people in here. Why'd you want to meet here anyway? I thought we could have some fun in the ruins. Salvage it, like old... His room's upstairs, but what's in here? Huh, who's this now? Wonder if they could... Nah, who am I kidding? What do you need? Holy shit, a fresh face. Haven't seen your like in years. Don't know what brought you to the most dangerous corner of this solar system, pal. But you're welcome here. Oh, you talked to Lex yet? She tell you to keep it civil? Yeah. You wouldn't guess to talk to her, but that lady's got a mean left hook. Lady at the bar, we're acquainted. She tell you I was a journalist back in Byzantium? She didn't mention you. Got into reporting thinking I was gonna be some sort of public intellectual. What a joke. Spent 95% of my time playing stenographer to the board. And the rest, writing puff pieces on the chairman's latest beard trim. Real life and death shit. Yeah, definitely. When the project fell apart, Spacer's Choice refused to extract me. They left me here to rot. Listen, I hate asking for handouts, but my back's against the wall here. If you're going back out there, do you think you'd be willing to do an old bastard a small favor? Depends on what it is. Does this involve going somewhere we don't belong? Those are my favorite jobs. Well, I've been trying to get away from this rock for five lobby fucked years, but I can't stay gone. I was doing an interview series for Spacer's Choice. Recorded them all on these little portable phonographs. But when everything fell to shit, Spacer's Choice wouldn't let me leave. In terms of my reporting contract unmet, they said. Right on the money. Look at me, I'm no fighter. I've never even touched a gun. But you, you're just the right amount of rough around the edges. Help me get my recordings back so I can finally get the hell out of here. All right, sure. It's a lucky day. <laughs> no shit. That's downright civilized of you. All right. One of them I stash in the Office of Creative Incubation. I'm in the projector there. room on the third floor. I gave another to my friend Birdie to keep in her apartment. Just outside OCI's upper entrance. Got it next. You'll find another in the chem lab. It's in the main lab storage room. Uh... Didn't have much of a choice. The primals had gotten loose. Couple of them were chasing me. The recordings just ended up wherever I hid. All right. The final one is in human inquiry and auditing. It's tucked behind a pipe in observation room B. What with the test subjects running loose, the researchers were surprisingly unobservant. All right. Strength to your sword arm, friend. And thank you. Up the stair. Where's the other stairs? Ah. What have you got there? A drink. The fuck, dude? Sure. Going. Preserved eye. As a medical professional, I gotta say, that is very well preserved and disgusting. 
You think they stick the preservative in before or after the eye comes out? I don't know, and I don't really want to know. Ocular verifier? Is that up here? Someone's in here. Oh, lol. It's coming back up again. I'm all right. That last one really emptied my guts. No, wait. Oh, okay, he's 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 going at it some more. Where is that? That's got to be outside. So, Alright, and these two might have something. That was my salvage, Trixie. You had no right to it then, and you've no right to it now. I risked my life sneaking around Marauders to claim that wreck. And I didn't see your name on it. Now you've done it. Eat fist! Oh, dear lord. All right, that's enough! This is a family establishment! You want to make a mess? You make it outside! But this was personal, Lex. It's a question of salvage. That wreck was gonna make me a fortune! That's what I've been trying to tell him, but he won't listen. Oh, it's the same fight every day. Five years we've been at this, and we still can't agree on how to properly tag salvage. Now you two listen, this is my place. While you're in the Sprat Shack, you'll sit quietly, or I'll forbid you to come here at all. Is that understood? Fair's fair. I'll have a stout, and we'll settle this later on our own terms. Oh, it's no good to leave a fight unresolved. If I don't do something, these two are going to be at each other's throats. Uh, what do you propose? I could intervene if you like. You do that for me? For a price, not for you. Nothing's free on Gorgon. You're clever to have that figured out already. Freddy, Trixie, go on and make your case to the generous stranger. I'll start, seeing as I'm the one who's been most wronged in this equation. Shut up and explain. Oh, very formal. <clears throat> Freddy the Scab. Freelancer for sublight salvage and shipping. Same as my father before me. Junkyard Trixie. Also a salvage freelancer. Though, I've been at it longer than Freddy. So, uh, just up the road and due east of here, there's a shipwreck lodged in the mountainside, right? Mm hmm I staked my claim on that wreck. Then I wandered in for a drink. An hour later, Trixie swaggers in bragging about her salvage. Ugh. The nerve of some people. Do, do you even know if it's the same salvage? I climbed on top of it and called out in my loudest voice. Finders keepers! Oh dear lord. Is that legal? I don't know about legal, but it's legit by sublight standards. Assuming anyone was around to hear it, which we can't know for sure. Right. Someone must have heard me. They just ain't brave enough to step forward and admit it. Or maybe they didn't. When I found the shipwreck, there were no salvage mark. See, the whole area was teeming with bloodthirsty marauders. So I snuck around and added my tag. Clear as day so no drunken idiots could claim the salvage out from under me, Freddy. For the record, when I heard the marauders coming, I left. Trixie must have set her mark down after me. Sorry, I won't speak out of turn again. Thank you. Anyway, that's my story, ma'am. I drew next in the dirt with my toe. Wouldn't surprise me in the least, but that doesn't mean it ain't mine. In all my years, I've never heard a more contentious argument. I don't envy your shoulders for bearing the weight of responsibility. You've heard it from them both. So, who gets the salvage? I mean, Trixie made a more active effort to deuce. These idiots don't know how to tag salvage. I rule in no one's favor. They really don't. They don't. But Trixie made a more active effort to tag it, I guess. Because you can't just scream finders keepers 
and expect somebody to even know what you're talking about, let alone hear you? Thank you. Law, it's hard to get a fair trial in this sprat fucked colony. You'll pay for this. I don't know how, and I'm not sure when, but just you wait, and maybe it'll happen. Someday. I'll kill you. Here's a six pack on the house, plus your fee. Maybe now we'll finally get some peace around here for a change. No problem. Glad to be of service. Come and chat if you're ever feeling thirsty. We could always go back and rile him up again later. <laughs> That's my captain. Oh my god. All right, girls. All right. So when we return in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're going to see what else we can get up to here on Gorgon. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, all that to help me out on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I'll be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.